is up YouTube doing some further testing and I have the watt meter hooked up in line for the source as load basically the source and I have my power inverter and the watt meter hooked up okay as you can see it's drawing about three watts at idle because I have the power inverter plugged in. You see the power indicator is on. This is a 12 volt to 110 with two USB outputs. And like I said, at idle it's drawing about 3 watts. Batteries stabilize around 12.07, 12.08 volts. Drawing 0 0.22, 23 amps. So I'm running on DC output. I have a fan plugged in there, it's a 110 volt fan, uh, oscillating floor fan at idle with it just being plugged in. Pull it up to about 7 watts at idle, or 0 0.6 amps at 12.01 volts. The lowest setting, 56.8, 57 watts. 58 watts, 57, 56, 55. And even on the highest setting, it's still pulling less than 60 watts. About 55 to 58 watts peak. This is a 150 watt AC inverter. First real test. Also a demonstration for this, the Volt Cube. It's got a very, very tiny and very quiet, yet efficient brushless fan on the inside. I believe it is a brushless fan, most likely. And this is the Tenergy, I guess Tenergy. This is uh, actually, I believe, mostly meant for RC cars and light bulbs, but this works from uh, 6 to, I believe, 60 volts uh, and up to 150 amps. So. Very cool. This is going to be for monitoring solar energy uh, for charging for circuitry, as well as testing loads of how many watts and calculating off the watt hours and all that good stuff. And here I have the 18 inch 25 watt blacklight fluorescent tube style and the USB utilized for charging is the Note 3 on the 2.1 amp 5 volt USB output rail. Here's the readout on the watt meter so you guys can get an accurate idea. I've been consistently running this for probably close to four and a half hours or so now I would say. The 150 watt inverter and here we can see the readout uh, voltage has been steadily dropping over time. 62.8 watt hours, 5.447 amp hours drawn. And this is running the power inverter, running a USB 2.1 amp output uh, for the charger, as well as the AC 110 output to the 25 watt 18 inch fluorescent blacklight. 63.1 watt hours, 63.2 watt hours. So I've been running consistently for four, four and a half hours or so now, and 80% battery life left. So, hope you enjoyed this video. A little test demonstration for the Paxis 100 watt solar generator and the N line Volt Cube AC inverter. AC DC inverter, or DC to AC rather, and the Tenergy uh, watt meter, which also gives you all the readout of I think it's eight different types of uh, electrical data amp hours, watt hours, maximum watts, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and stay tuned for more upcoming updates and tests.